Now this is the way to experience the Iowa State Fair. Hitching a ride on your dad's shoulders, <laughs> eating cotton candy the whole way. Another great weather day at the fair. Great way to get around there. So uh, much to see and do. Uh, once in a while, they ask people uh, not to just have fun, but to lend a hand. Absolutely. Yeah. Channel 13's Roger Riley found a whole bunch of volunteers getting ready for a sweet corn feed. There's nothing that says Iowa State Fair like a sweet corn feed. Yeah, you know, Sonia, that's one of the things I really love about summer in Iowa is sweet corn. But of course, if you've ever cooked sweet corn, you know you got to husk it first. And uh, each year they ask the volunteers to help out for a big feed. The volunteers came outside the agriculture building. They usually cook around 12 to 1500 ears of corn for the feed that'll be just west of the agriculture building tomorrow. That means some work getting the husks off and of course the silk. I usually like to break the ends off as well. Husking corn is easier if you stay in practice. I only have it about maybe once a week in the summer. But I'm, you know, it's just because I old. <laughs> you don't eat as much as I used to. Today was Iowa Park and Rec Day at the fair. Each year they put on some contests for the kids. This is the bubblegum blowing. The winner in the seven to nine age group was Owen Weiss, nine year old from Creston. He's going into fourth grade. Uh, he told us that he didn't know when he came to the fair that he was gonna enter this contest. Another thing to keep the kids going was pie eating. Chocolate cream pies got the faces covered. Of course, you can't use your hands. Now, if I had a chocolate cream pie, I think I might want to take my time, but uh, this is a race here. Well, not too many quiet places at the Iowa State Fair, but the Pold Hereford Museum is a little off the beaten path east of the dairy barn and pavilion. This honors the breed of Pold Herefords, or what, me that, what that means basically is cattle without horns. That first started down by St. Mary's. Of course, cattle without horns can eat closer to each other and makes it better for the cattle farmers. This museum pays tribute to the farmers who came up with this idea. This barn was on the property where Pold Herefords originated, and that we moved the, up, moved the building up here in 1991 to build a museum out of it. And it was the yodeling competition at the Pioneer Hall. This draws a lot of people to watch. With, a, with just a few competitors, they all kept people listening until the winner was named. I'm uh, Chad Suter, I'm from Polk City, Iowa. Just was really inspired from when I was little, traveling out with my dad, going to different bluegrass competitions and different things and just hearing people yodel and play. This particular one, in case you guys had no idea what I was doing, uh, I just, it was a, a tribute to John Williams movie themes. Okay, you think uh, we've maybe heard everything now? Uh, yodeling the Star Wars theme, of course, that would only be at the Iowa State Fair. You never know where you're going to find there. Great day again. Thanks a lot, Roger. Yes, yes, you bet.